All right, welcome back to Foundation. So, I've changed up a few things, as I am apt to do. Uh, my first goal was to get this big behemoth uh, planned out so we could start building it. Then, of course, I kind of changed my mind. Then I wanted to use more pieces. Now I want to try some things. Then I destroyed and rebuilt the bridge. All kind of stuff. So I rebuilt the bridge because I wanted to build it over these stones. Because they were right in the entrance. And, you know, I didn't see it and I didn't see it. And then when I cleared this whole thing out, it's like, wait, everybody's going to have to walk right through the stones. Uh, the other option was to actually build this out to the water line, which might look cool. And I still might do at some point. But for now, I am going to stick to the exterior walls going around on the end, then having a little bit of lawn on the outside. Um, I have used a lot of arches and I plan to put some buildings behind there and in there. I've just, I've just kind of did this to, to sort out exactly how I wanted to make uh, the different tiers look. And I, you know, I think it looks pretty good. Um, this, this is mimicking uh, one of the pictures that I posted on a previous video. I think this arch was fixed in the previous speed slash bug fix patch. I'm not sure. I do know that it has something that it might have had before, but I didn't know it. And that's the ability to both adjust, and let's see if I can do this. It's difficult to grab there. Adjust the arch size and the top size independently, which I just think is, is just about the coolest thing in the world. Except now I can't decide exactly how I want it to look. I think that's as far down as it goes. This one's difficult to adjust. Down. 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 Oh wow, I can go pretty low. Alright. Oh, I like that. Right? Anyway, I want to get this building because I want to see if they can walk through that. And you know what? I did such a good job lining these things up to just miss the warehouse. But I don't want to spend a lot of time on this thing. I just want to get these two pieces built. We've got to have the dormitory. I want to get these two pieces built to make sure that they can walk underneath there. And you know what? I don't even need that piece. That's enough. One core, one dormitory with a door. I put in a well, by the way. Thought we needed one. I don't know why. And this little arch piece. And let's see if they can get through there. But anyway, uh, here's the Abbey. Uh, 345. That in, that red is hard to read. 345. We have 92. Uh, we're making them pretty fast. I'm going to go ahead and start it. Alright, so that starts that piece. Um, the church so far is up to uh, 3,244 stone, 1,274 tools. We currently have 5,700, 5,800 stone and climbing and 740 tools. This is some serious stuff. All right, I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around with the warehouses. You know, if you're going to do something new and different, it's all about, can I have a city full of warehouses? <laughs> not the prettiest thing in the world, but uh, yeah. So here's the keep. And you might notice that uh, I added a couple of warehouses or 10 couples of warehouses uh, to hold the stone. Because, you know, if you're going to hit 10,000 stone, you're going to need a lot of warehouses. I think I'm going to have to sneak another few villagers. Uh, see, sheep farm part is full. Well, we don't need your shirts right now, so we're fine. Nope, 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 nope. The piece of monastery still doesn't work, but it's worse than that. As soon as it started to get built, everybody stopped using the stone bridge. And so I destroyed it, but they wouldn't start using the stone bridge. So I blocked off access to the wooden bridges to try to force them to repath. Everybody that was on the island got stuck. Zombie apocalypse. So now what I'm going to try to do is rebuild. This time using a second church. A new church. But I'm going to have a blue church. So I'm going to try different color walls. Because what I'd like to do is I'd like to mix, carefully mix colored pieces. I think I'm fairly happy with the way that that looks. Oh, look. Remember in the last episode, I saw one of these blinkies. And you see how that's, did you see how that's blinking up there? You can't quite 
see it. You can't see it now, but it was definitely blinking. So I've got a door attached to this big steeple here. And, uh, you know, so they still go in the same door. But I'm, I'm going to need to move this out very, very carefully. All right. Um, I grabbed it. Oh, you're snapping. Yeah, and there's no undo. All right, come on out. See, I don't see why. There's where it disappears, right there. That should be enough. Even if it sticks out a little bit. Is it even? Can you see down there? Let's go down. So, whoa! <laughs> that looks pretty cool. But uh, that's not what we want to do. Um, right? Does that look even? I think that looks pretty even. I think the, the number of bricks... Um, uh, I do. I think that looks pretty good. I know it's straight. Okay. Anyway, um, I do like the way this looks. You know, I want other pieces hidden behind or, or just showing behind some of these archways. Because the archways are supposed to be walkways uh, across the top. So you're walking from building to building. Even though there's no real walkways, you know, um, it, it might look like that. I like this piece. Uh, what do we need? We need uh, 3,244 stones, of which we have all of them. 1,274 tools. What do we got? We got half of them, about, give or take math. And, uh, right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and start this. And then start doing the walls in blue. And if I can have two completely independent church monuments to help build the castle, then I can mix and match the pieces, I think. And the monastery pieces are also gonna be thrown in here because I think they look pretty cool. But I've got to make sure that they look right. Yeah. This has got to be... This is this has got to be epic. So why not throw all the monuments in at once? Now, the other thing that I forgot to do, and while on speed 3, I paid for it dearly, was your city is not stable unless you turn off immigration and also turn off housing upgrades. Because they were upgrading, it seems slowly, one at a time, and then suddenly I didn't have any bread, I didn't have any fish, people started to get unhappy. Then I was dealing with the stuck problem. It was it was just horrible and you should feel you should feel sorry for me for having to put up with that um, But you're right. It's just a joke um, Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start this so do is there any reason not to start this? We're sticking with the stone motif uh, for these pieces and because I do think it looks the most realistic. The blue, they look like stucco walls. That's the only reason I don't like it. But it's not totally bad. I'm going to try it for the walls. And we can I can change the color later. Um, but anyway, go ahead and start. Oof. All right. Um, now you see the frame rate. See how the frame rate just jumped back up to 60 FPS? It, yeah, it's the it's the skeleton. Look at all that stone, would you? Look at that. Look at all those builders. Uh, Furchertine, Furchertine, uh, is the only one not fetching. That's not true, but that was the joke. Uh, holy cow! Look at all this stone. Yeah, you guys get on this. Get on this. Impressive. Uh, that's the only construction project going going on. Now the other thing I did is I had new warehouses here. I had new stone cutter, not stone cutter, but um. Who's the people that uh, that cut the stone? Stone stone mason huts along here. I had everything. I let like six new villagers in, so I could ramp up some stone production a little bit more. And uh, then I put some new farms in. And right, it was it was a disaster. Um, all because uh, the this bridge got stuck. Uh, I did add, as risky as it is, I did add a little uh, do not do not go on here zones. Uh, because they were uh, just crossing over the bridge. And you know what? Now that I mentioned that, uh, I'm going to have to cut those back a little bit because I'm going to build right up close to the bridge. So let's just let's just chop these off right here. That should be enough. Um, and I'll fix it later if it's not. And anyway, right. So now that this church is building, if I start a new church, it's completely independent. Yeah. Which means uh, I'm probably going to have... So I'm going to make it blue... And I'm doing my extension A's, right? And it's just simply one of these. 
Um, and I am going to use snapping, so let's put that over there a minute. And let's do the arch. There you go. And let's do you. There you go. And then, you know, it's always a question of how close do I put this. And this should build pretty quick. All I'm going to do is build these pieces. I want to get this pretty close. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Okay. And blue and start. Okay, good. And let's actually high prioritize you. Because this is the one I want to finish first. And did I high prioritize this? I did not. You're just normal priority. Okay. Yeah, get this done. And let's make sure this is going to work before I go on. So this is interesting. I am building a piece that I know people can pass through. But as soon as it started to build, look, nobody's nobody's using the bridge anymore. It's done. The bridge is broken. I'm going to have to restore from save. Uh, recall zombie apocalypse description. So, uh, it may be the position of this. So it could be that the monastery part does work. It's just I can't build it anywhere near the bridge. So we will try again. All right, this is a good sign. Uh, the building has started and they're still using the bridge. Uh, in the meantime, I am reconfiguring some of these warehouses. I'm going to delete this one, move this one over here, build two more. Because uh, I want these walls to stay straight and this warehouse is just a little bit too close. Actually, it's not too close now that the walls are moved up, but I'm moving it anyway. You know, if we could just sneak a few more warehouses in here, right? You can see where the people land to kind of go visit the warehouse. They haven't in a while. But I think we could do one here without blocking anybody. Just right up here. And you could still get to the other warehouses. So that's one. And then maybe over here. Can I sneak one in like this? I don't know. And you, you're going to have to redirect this road a little bit. I'll just put it in right there because it's been five minutes. Two more stone warehouses. So that's another um, 400 stone and what are we just sheep here workplace is full sheep farm part that's fine as long as this bridge stays working i'm i'm good and it is and so i'm happy with it and what are we looking in here uh we've got all the stone we need we're just going to fetch the tools and the wood and we will be done so while that's going on i am going to build more uh for the future Okay, more um, weaver huts. Don't really have the builders to build these at the moment, but um, at some point we will. And, and they will get built after the, uh, the castle work is done. And let's put in, I'm going to put in four weaver huts kind of opposite each other. Watch out, sheep. I'm working here. Uh, kind of like a little road there. There we go. And uh, one more right about here. All right, and then I want, I want to put in two tailor workshops. Um, and I just feel like uh, kind of slanted here, uh, back amongst near the oaks. Uh, one of them can poke out right about here, I think. And the other one will have to be sunk back into the oaks just a little bit. We're only taking out one tree. It's okay. Right there. There's two of them. And, yeah, those will get built in their own time. Um, what are we looking at for planks? 842 planks. That's pretty good because the only sawmills I have are these three right here. Which are fully stocked. Yeah. And, yeah, you're actually full. But you're not complaining about being full, which is interesting. Yeah, 100, 100, 102. Yeah, you are full. All right, it's done. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I like it. I'm going to go ahead and commit to the blue wall. Now remember, it's separate. So all I have to do to change the color of it is add on a piece and change the color. So don't fret. Just keep going. And right, and I'm just going to go ahead and snap extensions on. And we're going to turn at some point. See, I feel like I could use some monastery parts here. I feel like that would be pretty cool. And... Do I want to do it right there? 
So let's lift these up first off. Let's lift these up so they're all the same height. Higher look better. Even if it goes down again. Okay. So there's that. That's a straight line out. And then it seems like we need a big tower here and then curve. And, you know, I could put in a regular church tower or I can say let's go ahead and open up the monastery. And let's color it blue even though I don't think it's going to color. And let's do tower A. Now that's a better turn. And then we can go out a couple and have another tower. And that should complete the turn to go straight back or something like that. So why don't we build that wall? Alright, so it's blue. I hit start. I don't think this is going to build. I think I'm going to have to click on this and hit start on the other one. Or I'm not going to be able to start it. But let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. So let's start. Yep. And then let's click on this one. There's the abbey interface. I can't start because I don't have a dorm or an abbey or a door. And yeah, that should be fine. I just wish it was out just a little bit more. Well, it's going to hide that window though. Is it hiding that window? Yeah, I think it is. So you got that window going, you got those windows which nobody can see. Uh, that's good. So let's start that. So that we can start that, we'll call that blue. We'll see how that looks. Okay. And you're waiting for a builder. Yeah, you will be for a while. Uh, I'm gonna just leave it. Oh look! And while that was going on, um, we've got uh, we've got these really tall... Boy, that looks unstable, doesn't it? We've got our really tall um, arches. So this, uh, oh, did I never send them? You gotta hit the send button. How about that? <laughs> All right, whoops. Uh, it's my first day. And right, this, yeah, I, this, those look pretty cool. We'll see, we'll see. I'm kind of liking the blue. But again, we will see. And uh, is anybody even bringing anything? We need 244 stone, and we only have 4,269. We're down to 373 tools. We only need 119. That's good. And then for the monastery build, we need uh, 345 um, polished stone. We have um, Half of that, maybe. And we need a lot more planks. 94 tools, 135 stone, and some glass. Alright, about uh, an hour of playtime has passed at speed 3. And the monastery has finished. It has stayed blue. I have restarted the game. It stayed blue. If the bug where the monastery reverts back to the default color has been fixed, boy, does that look good. And from a distance, it's only a little bit lighter than this. I mean, boy, does that look good. I am going to replace these walls with the monastery walls. I am tempted, but I don't think I'm going to do it. I am very tempted to replace this with that little piece that wouldn't let people through. Because if you remember, uh, I put it too close and now I've backed this one off. Boy, am I tempted. So again, uh, we're, let's see, about four hours total of playtime and not a lot of progress. But I want to get this right. And uh, all right, it's underway. Just two pieces uh, after finagling with it to get it over here and get it straight and make sure that uh, it ran into the right place over there. Um, we have two pieces. And we actually, I, I so I, I radically increased the number of, rad what does radically mean, right? I greatly increased the number of uh, stonemason huts and places to store stone. All right, we're about 25% through the construction. People are still walking through it. The bridge is still being used. I think I've got it. It's too bad it takes so long to build. However, the whole time I've been messing around with the wall fiasco, the castle has been building. And so nonstop, slow but sure. So by the end of this episode, um, you know, this thing might actually be done and ready for the next step. In the meantime, um, at speed three anyway, I am having trouble with the bread. 
And, you know, I'm debating to myself, do I want to just let the game roll on forward until this gets done, or do I want to start doing things in the village while this is building? And I think I, I want to do a few things in the village. For one thing, I would like to get, uh, look at all those boats, and look, look at my fish. I've only got 47 fish, 57 fish, 60 fish. Really low on fish, really low on berries. It means I think I need to let some people in and just assign them to production. So, I expanded the wheat fields a little bit. Not much, a little bit. I think I'm going to put another farm down here. Keeping it all. And I put another farm over here. And... You, uh, you could use one more person, but there's nobody really near here. Um, I don't have any, I don't, I don't believe I have any builders over here. Wouldn't that be nice? To be able to see what builders we have over here. But I don't think I do. I think everybody here is assigned to something else. Yeah. And. So I could let. We still have some residential area left, right? Not much. Not much. There we go. When I let people in. Not letting anybody in at the moment. And, you know, another farm or two. It seems like that I could fit another farm in here that you're not using the whole field anyway. So let me get some more farms building. Yeah, another wheat farm. And take the opportunity to take out the trees with the wheat farm. Like so. There's one more. And how's this doing? Uh, we have all the stone. Yeah, we're waiting on tools. And planks, we're not really waiting on. We have plenty of planks. Uh, 700 planks. But the tools were down to 25. So tools is the holdup. Um, do I want to add on to the tools? Now, I had some people. I let six more villagers in, and I had some new people move over here. See, this house. Remember, this house was the one that was empty. It actually has two people in it now. And this house rebuilt with just two people. And this now has four. One of those was was density change or something. But we have five iron. We don't have any coal. We have 39 iron ore. I could put in... I could put in one more tool maker. Um, which is not called a tool maker. It's called a blacksmith. Put in one more blacksmith over here. And we'll kind of put it like with the rest of these. Uh, yeah. Oh, I can't because I'm out of cash. Uh, yeah, and just another thing. I could let more villages in so they could buy more food. Which might work out well. Okay, you can go ahead and build that. Go ahead and high prioritize that. Uh, that'll take away from probably the church. I don't have the, sorry. I don't have the castle in high priority mode. So everything takes away from it. How's this doing? Uh, four tool. Yeah, we're fighting for tools. Big time. Big time fighting for tools. Well, okay. And also, because I didn't allow housing upgrades, even though I built the monastery, the, um, close this. Even though I built the monastery, the needs didn't change. Because I'm not allowing anybody to upgrade their housing. Uh, so I still have 133 serfs, 118 commoners, 105 citizens. So that's good. And if we look at the budget... I mean, we're positive. Well, now we're negative. We were positive last month, but only by 296. We're currently negative 600. Uh, but we have positive cash on hand. So, alright, there's the wheat farm. So here we go. Um, let's fire you. And actually, sorry. Where do, where do you live? You're, oh, you're actually over here. Oh, so definitely, uh, Caitlin. And guacamole here, where do you live? Uh, you're over in, where are you? Where are you over in here? No, I'll fire you, but I'm not going to use you. Okay. And then, Sybil, where do you live? I thought I checked to see where you lived. You're kind of over in here. Yeah, I'm going to fire you, but, um... I'm not going to reassign you. I'm going to take people from the stonecutter camps. And do we have any stone? We have 30 stone here, so somebody's going to have to pick that up before I can destroy it. You have 38. 
And you have 27. Yeah. That's kind of ugly. Uh, so you guys. Oh, there's another Sybil. Alright. One, two, three, four. You're all fired. And, you know, fire's kind of rough because you're just going to be reassigned. And then this should get the closest, which is Bridget, Ricardus, and the other Sybil. And then... As far as this one over here, it's not done yet. Let me put one more person in this farm. That would be, is it Malin? Where do you live? Yeah, you're real close to the bridge. Good. Okay. And how many unemployed do I have left? Uh, we have guacamole still, and Caitlin, and then Sybil. Actually, all of you are too far away, I thought. Didn't I decide that? Guacamole, where are you? Yeah, you're all too far away. You would do much better doing something over here. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And then uh, we're building this. Yep, but you are also competing for tools. So we're, we're kind of... We're kind of slow due to the lack of tool production. And this should help our wheat situation. I could use more fish. Here's the other building complete wheat farm, but I don't have anybody who can work here. Unless I let you, keeping it all, unless I let you all. So you live over here, and you'd walk all the way over here to the farm, work for two minutes and walk back. Does it, do I want you to do that? Do I care? Let's go ahead and do it. One, two, three, there you go. Your farmers. Go farm. And I'm still not going to let anybody new in. And I don't want to talk to you. I can't really afford the tax on the land right now. We're sitting at 700. I need to make more food, like bread. Yeah, there's no place to put these. What's going on here? This is storing tools and these things. And what's going on here? Berries? Alright, fine. No berries. Uh, Murdoch. Uh, get me some of these. Clear out, clear out the, uh, the camp so I can shut them down. There we go. Listen, listen how quiet it is here. I think I still have one person employed here somewhere. I, uh, I, was there two here or was it just one? Looks like there's just one camp here. Good. Perfect. So you're gone. And the silence is golden. And then we have the berries, which are silent. Yeah, that's nice. No noise. No noise is nice. Alright. Uh, how's our wheat supply? So we have 18 wheat. So we actually have a positive number of wheat. And then flour is up to 20. Good. So bread should be rising. Get it? Bread rising. Thank you. Uh, so walk gently. All right, the blacksmith is finished, and I had the foresight, trust me, this was completely an accident, to assign these two guys that finally moved into here as builders. So you're not going to be builders anymore. And did you see the red on that? What were you complaining about? You had a red on something. Anyway, you're not going to be builders anymore. Uh, you're both going to work right over here. And you're going to be able to make us some more tools. Uh, and we might need more iron, I don't know. But, uh, if we do, uh, who else is a builder? Anybody? No, you're stone cutters. Which is a potential. Okay, building complete square tower. So I built these little towers here just because we didn't have any. And, uh, you know, they're not perfect. The, the, the stone type is just a little different. Hopefully I didn't. I saved before I built them. So hopefully I didn't break the bridge. Go away. Nope, I didn't. But uh, yeah, that gives uh, that gives something interesting to look at um, while we're moving along here. And so, how's this doing? Oh, by the way, the uh, the castle is complete, and uh, so now it looks like this. And I think that look at all the bells. I don't even want to be near here when the bells go off. And there, there's those boats going way back here again. You're just you're just tooling around, dude. You were just absolutely just flying around in a circle. Where are you going? Man. 
Uh, anyway, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, it, it does, you have to back off a ways to see the whole thing. But, uh, yeah. Um, I think for a starter, that looks pretty darn good. And, you know, from just about anywhere in town, you can see it, you know, off in the distance there. There it is. But now I want to get the walls finished. Alright, the monastery finished. Everybody is walking through as expected, so I'm really happy about that. And I am been I'm incorporating blue pieces into the main church to see how it looks, uh, to see if it blends well or not. And but this is a separate build. Uh, it needs 1,194 stones, which we had 351 tools. We have 184. Uh, the tool our tool count is going up, so it's not horrible. And let me delete these extra pieces. And that steeple's just sort of off by, off by itself in the back. But yeah, I just want to see how it looks. And then we could potentially put other pieces in front of it. So it looks just like extra decoration or something. But um, let's go ahead and start this. Alright, and uh, yeah, you're bringing glass right away. I really recommend building the window after you build the rest. But, you know, whatever, whatever you order you want is the order it's going to be in. Okay, so the monastery is now finished. And uh, it is a separate piece, which is good. So now we um, bring on the rest of the walls. These are all Abbey B. And we want to snap for sure. And one more. Like so. And then let's lift them all up. And the windows line up. And that looks like a nice thick wall with an entrance. If that stays blue, I'm going to be happy. If it turns brown, it's not the end of the world. But, uh, yeah, please. Please stay blue. Um, and then, can I put... Let's take a chance. Can I put one more in here? I forget how I put this in here. I think it was like that. Yeah, that actually fits pretty well, doesn't it? Let's raise it up to the right height and see if that's going to look good. Where is the right height? That's it. And yeah, I think that uh, that looks pretty good. It doesn't match perfectly on this side, but it does on this side. And then this comes out to another tower and then goes this way. Or something to that effect. And this tower looks okay. It doesn't look bad. It's blue. Right? So yeah, and look, we got windows now plastered in thin air up there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go with this. So we need uh, 990 polished stone, which we don't have. Uh, we have 931. That's pretty darn close. A lot of tools, 495 planks, which we have, 70 glass, 350 stone, blue, 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 and start. There we go. And the polished stone is arriving. And I'm not going to rush that build. So we were negative 866. Well... Clearly, clearly that means we could afford to make some berry huts and uh, make some cash. Um, let's make some gathering huts around here. And yes, I will make an extraction zone, I promise. Just as soon as I get these things building. Um, let's build three of them. And the berries will help increase the sales. Give me an extraction zone. Right around the berries, please. There we go. Right, and then I may have to let some more villagers in, carefully, to uh, to to work on the berries. All right, I'm gonna let just a few people in, just a few. Right, just a few. I'm not authorizing housing upgrades. All right, I'm, I, I I need a lot of serfs. I mean, look at this. You know, we're, 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 we have a lot of commoners and a lot of citizens. We could use more serfs, and, and we got those four rookies. <laughs> you guys should want to live over here. Look how green that is. This is perfect. This is a perfect spot to live. This is where you want to live. All right, I'm not putting any more warehouses in, so let me curve this around a little bit. I did stick some barrels to see if this greened it up. So, so these are barrels that belong to this market. Get off that. These are barrels that belong to this market, and I put a bench in, yeah, I put a bench in right here, too. And, uh, you know, if houses build around here, I'm never gonna know this bench belongs to the market. Alright, two unemployed. Sell back. Where do you live? Um, exactly where I wanted you to live. 
That's excellent. And that means uh, Moisent. Uh, you live over here as well. I'm, I'm so happy. And I'm still going to do more immigration. But you know what? Uh, you're in here. There you go. Sell back at Moisent. But uh, how are we doing over here? Are you guys going to finish this this year? Uh, Hugalina. How did I miss Hugalina? Uh, Flathry. Helena, Meralda, Geroit, Constantin Constantia. Uh, 610 out of 990. We still have 507 of the polished stone in stock. Uh, we have got 729 of the plank, so that's good. Tools. We actually have 330, 330 tools, so we have that. And uh, glass, who cares? And stone, um, we're at uh, 4,600 stone. And you know I want to get to 10,000 at some point before I call it, but I I have the warehouse, I might just barely have the warehouse space, it's not going to be as fast because I'm taking a lot of people off uh, stone cutting alright, Kraken where do you live? you live over here, eh? that's unfortunate, that's a bad choice in my opinion um, and where the heck is this? what is this? did I ever do anything with this? hey, guess what? I had this future proofed here there we go. Go here, and uh, go here. I didn't. I didn't even remember I made these. I wonder how many other things I have made. Now I know that I made the uh, immigration in one more day. You can see how fast people can join. 364 already. I was 350 just a little bit ago. Uh, I made these four um, uh, weaver huts, and we've got uh, the two tailor huts here along the road that are tailor. Um, who Jim call it? It's Taylor Workshops. But we have 1,045 shirts. 404 wool. Uh, and we're not overstocked in wool anymore. The wool may actually be slowly falling because I removed two sheep herders. But I didn't remove their sheep. Oh man, I'm getting really lucky with this. Alright, you're worth money, dude. So, can I still click on you? Did I get it fast enough? Yeah, I'll deploy my troops right away. Maybe I can remember how to do it this time. Alice? Lavin? The last time I did this, I did all this, and then just didn't hit send, and it sat there forever. I'm like, why haven't they come back? Because she didn't hit send, that's why. There they go. Alright, they're on their way. Nobody gets stuck. What's- what's- who's this? I am stuck while going to Temp Village Center. Ah, oh, what? It's because I said something, wasn't it? It was because I said something. Where are you? It's you again. I'm gonna have to tear down this bridge again? I'm so disappointed in you. I really am. I'm tempted to... I'm tempted to force you to leave the village. Yeah, why... you know, why are you stuck? Why are you stuck? Uh... except you can't... I right, fine. Off you go. Stupid. Uh, and then, yeah, now I have to rebuild the bridge. Alright, fine. And we'll go higher up on the bank. I'll fix the wall in a minute. And yeah, that's pretty that's pretty good here. I can go a little higher here and go over here. Okay, because that is definitely different from where it was. That's over on this side. And I think you can still get by. And then uh, let's let's fix the wall. I'm so mad at that. Oh, okay, just start construction. And fix the wall. Let's back the wall off to here for now. And then, um, as far as this wall goes, uh, this is going to have to be over here a little bit. And this is going to have to be over here. Hey, how come you're not rounded off? We'll just put you right there for now. And this... I can't decide whether that's more rounded or less rounded. It's just different. Alright, I'm fine. I'm fine with that. Right? Something. Just build the bridge. Like, I have any builders for that, right? But until then, uh, everybody's got to come over this wooden bridge. That's just all there is to it. It's not my fault. Alright, the rebuild of the wooden bridge is complete. And they're going to need some guidance as far as how to cross it. I forget that I put a... I didn't have a forbidden land zone in here before. Um, look, you're bouncing off it. That is bizarre. Um, so yeah, let's just go down like this. That should be enough, so you turn the corner and uh, stop 
bouncing off it. Yeah, like that. Okay. But yeah, you're crossing it, and uh, yeah, that's fixed. And I'm not going to have any more soldiers go for now, because uh, I'm afraid somebody else is going to get stuck. But that should ease some of the congestion. And I have turned immigration back on for a little bit. Uh, happiness is falling. Two villagers are lacking homes. And one of them is lacking religion. And that's just because you haven't found a church yet. That's absolutely ridiculous. We have plenty of religious spots, including this church. Five of 60. All right. So just move where the church is, you know, if that's what you need. But um, so we're, we're, we have uh, 602 berries, 440 fish, 652 bread, 1,000 clothes. We're well in the positive. At some point, I'm going to have to turn upgrades on. Once I get the money, I'm, I'm going to have to build some luxury goods for the monastery because they're going to get mad if they upgrade and they don't have luxury goods. But I need to go through that wave because we are at that point in time. 380 people. I'm going to have to go through another wave of upgrades um, and make everybody happy by getting these numbers up. Uh, a lot. We're going to need a lot more bread than that because 600 bread can drop to nothing in no time. But anyway, now that the bridge is finished, Henricus, hold on. I'm going to see where you live. So you, oh, okay, you're moving it over here. Mm, all right, I want, I want you to be... Henricus, you're fishing, and the other is going to be, I think these other berry huts are full, uh, Slui, Slui, uh, you're going to be doing the berries. So I'm trying to force a new path in here, because they're all over the place. They're trying to re- they're trolling me, because they're trying to stay as far left as they can. Now, I want you to go over one more little bit, let's see if you can do it. So you look at this this giant structure here. Uh, hey, the monastery is complete. The wall is done. Anyway, this giant structure uh, cost me 20 gold uh, a week or a month or whatever that is. Uh, the monastery, my nice little wall that I love the look of it and everything, flipping 258 gold. Good grief. No wonder I was suddenly hurting on money. Uh, but I am making 336 positive at the moment. So, yeah, I'm going to have to keep up on the money, let some more people in, give them jobs. Uh, you can see I got my fish numbers up above 500. I did let a few more villagers in. All these huts don't have fishermen yet, but um, they're ready for them. And uh, the bread is up to almost 1,000, and the shirts, the clothing's uh, almost 1,000. Uh, yeah, boy. Um, and let me slow this down. Well, no. So, for the final, my final trick this episode, I want this to get done. And then I'll call it. Are you guys going on the right path? Yeah, you're staying fairly straight. Look, you, you, you want to go crooked. Hey, woo, we're free. We can go crooked. Boy, you guys annoy me. Keeping it all. And there's nothing really I can do about that. At least you're going in the front door. I mean, I could extend this wall so you don't do that, okay? Yeah, you're gonna go. No, 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 here they go, here they go, here they go, here they go. They finally figured it out. Look how straight, nice and straight. You guys are awesome, except we're right there. What is, what's going on here? What, what are you dodging? What's so bad about right there that you have to dodge it? Look at all the houses, good grief. All right, fine, now I'm gonna take this out. So I think the castle is looking quite good. The uh, blue part of the church is finished. You can see how they blend in. And it it looks perfectly normal. Uh, I'm not seeing anything bad. Uh, I was trying to build another section onto the monastery wall here. And um, it takes forever to do each section. So it's not going to be done. But I'm going to call it for this episode because I've been playing literally seven, eight hours to get this beast built. Now I did start over two or three times as I was having difficulties with the walls, but it was worth it because I like the way this is looking. So this is going to surround the whole castle and cost me a fortune, which is going to challenge me to sell a lot of food and a lot of everything to keep the money flowing in. Um, the church doesn't cost that much. Neither one of these do. Very reasonable. but. Yeah, it needs more large buildings, uh, more of this, 
and uh, we need some more towers around the outside of course the wall around the outside and uh, a few more steeples some smaller steeples uh, kind of things and uh, various uh, either blue or the default brown color but uh, yeah I'm liking the way it looks and I can't click how can I rotate can I rotate nope as soon as I try to rotate it zooms in on me so yeah it is a little tall uh, it's hard to see I can stand back here and take a look and we're kind of behind the village some new some people have been moving in back here but uh, yeah we're kind of behind the village look at the shadow of this tower right here that's pretty cool isn't it oh blew it all right I think I like this as the final shot um, I am sitting on some boxes or some blocks at one of the warehouses looking over towards the castle and the entrance that uh, we finally got to work and I do like the way that it kind of gives some depth of field in there the, the shadows are cool the uh, the arches look cool they look substantial they look big uh, it needs some more bigger buildings back in there and of course the whole thing um, needs to better flow you know down on either side there's a lot of room left on this side and um, a pretty good piece of room left on this side. But yeah, a lot more building to go. This is going to be under construction for basically the rest of the series until it's finally done. But uh, I do like the way that looks. I'm gonna have to think about if there's any way I wanna improve that. Um, being built into the brick and other pieces there, the, the other colored pieces makes the windows not seem so out of place. I can't move the camera at all without flying across the map. So we're just, we're just staying like this, but um, yeah, 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 so far so good. And uh, like I was saying earlier, uh, this thing is, these walls that surround the castle are gonna cost an absolute fortune to maintain. Uh, so I need to get a job. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.